Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo V330 laptop and in this video based on the request that I've been getting I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade the mechanical drive to an SSD drive or you can preserve your mechanical drive and add an additional M.2 uh, SSD drive. So uh, it's really recommended you guys upgrade to an SSD drive at least for your Windows because of the, the bottleneck on this system that makes it really slow is the mechanical drive that they included. All right, the tools that you're gonna be needing is just a simple screwdriver set. I use it, I use the iFixit tool set as they are really handy to have around the house, around the shop. They have one of the best steel, S2 class steel bits. That means they don't go bad or they don't rub off on the points. We're gonna be using Philips number zero from this tool set. Also, if you get the pro version, they include you an opening tools. But if you don't get the pro version, you can simply grab a guitar pick, a metallic guitar pick does the job very well. So first thing first, you want to power off the laptop and you want to flip it upside down. And what you want to do, you want to remove the bottom uh, uh, external battery or the dummy battery, which goes right here. And next, you want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover. All the screws are the same size and height. So there are four screws on the front end three on the mid and three at the back row. So go ahead and remove all the screws. Also, I wanna take a minute to thank you guys for supporting my channel and giving likes and with your comments and your feedbacks. I always try to uh, take requests from my subscribers, my uh, viewers. And I only see that there's only 1% of my viewers are subscribed to my channel. It would be really nice support and help if you guys find my content helpful. Clicking that like button or subscribing to my channel. It really helps out. I really appreciate it. If by some reason one, of the, one or two screws doesn't come out, just rotate them, leave them there. Don't worry about it. You don't necessarily have to pull them out. All right, once the screws are loosened up and you remove them, you wanna open up the laptop in 45 degree angle, 90 degree. You wanna stick the guitar pick between the bottom and the top cover. There's a tiny line right there. You wanna stick it right in between there. Just jam it there about two millimeter inward. Now what you wanna do, you just wanna twist it. You're twisting it inward. And you're peeling off the bottom cover All right. now we're gonna do this side once you remove the front and the sides you want to put it down and then you just want to wiggle around the bottom casing put your finger on the back row here and then pull out from this end and it should come out pretty easy. All right, down here, uh, we can see the mechanical drive is right over here, and M.2 drive is right over here. It goes straight down, lays down on here. They don't include the screw for this one. I'll leave the link in the description where you can get the screw set for this one, in case you get it. Now, let's say that you got the M.2 drive. This one is an Optane. Is that NVMe drive you can get and it goes in in 45 degree angle toward the dam and comes down and it gets screwed right over there. So that's how you install your M.2 drive. I'll leave a link in the description for a few of the good brands. One of the best brands are the Samsung Evo or you can go with a cheaper version which is an XPG, Adata, many other brands you can get. That's for M.2 in case you want to install one. For, uh, regarding the mechanical drive and the SSD over here, you can upgrade it to. 
To remove this one, there's a screw right here under the warranty label. So remove that one. And remove the screw at the back. And there's a one more screw holding the caddy under here. You have to remove the battery or shift over the battery. So remove one screw right there. Now you should be able to move the battery to one side and access this other screw right down there. Now you can pull up the pull back the caddy towards the front end of the laptop and lift up the caddy. Actually, they include you, you they give you a 256 gigabyte SSD right here. So pretty much you do have a SSD drive right here, but this is a 256 gig. If you want to grab a mechanical drive or a bigger SSD drive, grab your choice, whichever you want. This one no. Whatever you like, whichever brand you want, all you have to do, keep in coordination for this contact. Make sure whenever you get the new one with a high capacity, you don't put it inside the other way around. Because the orientation of the pins, they have to be in the same position. So pretty much what you need to do, remove the two screws on this side of the caddy and two screws on the other side of the caddy. Then remove this one and put this one right in place. Or you can put a low profile mechanical drive here if you want, if you wish. You can go a SSD M.2 here for up to one terabyte, two terabyte, and then you can put a two terabyte mechanical drive on the other one. Once you have the new drive in the, inside the caddy installed, bring it over, put it in an offset position, and then slide it towards the jack. Make sure the screw holes match. And then put the two small screws on the sides, one under the battery, one right at the bottom of the SSD drive. And the one with the sticker of the warranty sticker that you ripped off, you goes to one side. I bring the battery, align it, and you're going to put the screw for the battery right in here. And there we go. And the last thing would be to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, align it nicely, make sure it's nicely fit, and push down the corner, make sure you hit those clicks. And the last thing would be to just put down the bottom screws on the bottom case. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the comment area, and I always try to answer all the questions that you guys leave. And again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting the screws.